literature review in this case is not important at all. This is important for a search in order to be assured that there is no one have done this before or not. Okay? So, and then collecting that and validating that. On the other hand, the positivism. I like to repeat a lot of the information. The positivism. What's the positivism? I need to get the relationship between using information system and the happiness in the organization. Two concepts. After reading a lot of literature review, a lot of papers, books, I found that no one has tried to find a relationship between using the information system and happiness. This is my trigger for research. I will think, my ontology, uh, is it a single reality or no single reality? There is a single reality, because this is a universal concept. So I need to know how people think in this single reality. So here, we have a single reality. That's why sometimes we call it, we call it objectivist. Why we call it objectivist? Because we are outside of the reality, because we are external. Our mind doesn't have the reality, we don't know. We just propose an idea. Does it, is there is a relationship between happiness and the information system or not? And then I try to ask people. So I'm objectivist. This is my ontology. My epistemology, what's the meaning of epistemology? The theory of getting knowledge. Ma, what's your theory in getting knowledge? I say that we have a hypothesis and testing this hypothesis. So, this one we call it M resist. What is the meaning of that? Testing hypothesis. These people think the reality could be gained only, only by testing hypothesis. This is the tradi traditional view of science, really. The traditional view of science, the old school of science, says that we have first to collect information. After collecting information, we propose hypothesis. After proposing hypothesis, we test hypothesis objectively, using statistically, using statistics. OK. What about the methods here? Of course, methods here is very famous. Questionnaire. We do a questionnaire. We put a questionnaire, questions, and to find the relationship between the two concepts, to see a relationship between X and Y, happiness, and information system. Or information system may be could affect happiness. We will explore that later. What about the structure? Structure here is very different. Structure here, after doing your introduction, The most important thing at all is the literature review. Your supervisor will just look at the literature review and how you criticize the literature review and everything from the literature review. Why? Because the reason of doing your research is filling knowledge gap. So if you don't understand the knowledge, if you don't understand where is the knowledge gap, so why do you make a research? So this is very, very important, the literature review. On the other hand, here the literature review is not important. We have first introduction, introduction. After introduction, we make the search aims and objective, and this is the most important thing. This is the most important, and this is the most important. After doing literature review, you try to find research gap. After finding your research gap, you will next develop a model. What's meaning of develop a model here? Model here is different from model here. We have talked about that last, last time. Develop a model, it means here hypothesis. Testing hypothesis. What are hypothesis? Hypothesis 1. Hypothesis 2, hypothesis 3, hypothesis what? Relationship between X and Y, K and M, and the relationship between different concepts. After 
developing hypothesis which is emerged, which is rooted from literature review. Third, we will try to collect the data in order to test. But before that, we have to measure the concept. No, you can't measure it from your mind. You can't think. You can't see. You can't say, "I think." No. In this school, you have to get how people measure this concept from others, based on literature review, not from your mind at all. You can't say x is measured by these factors. No. What's the meaning of measure? Happiness. What's the meaning of happiness? How can you measure happiness? How you can say this is happiness or not? You have to define it into a set of questions. In fact, I can't do that by myself. I have to find other researchers. How can others measure happiness and take these questions and put it in my questionnaire? It's not easy to put your questionnaire from your mind. After developing a model, you have to collect the data, distribute questionnaire. After collecting the data, you have to analyze the data. Finally, after finalizing the data, writing up. On the other hand, this is cool. First introduction. The most important thing is search aims and objectives. After that, we can say literature review or search methodology. Literature review is not important at all, so we can say search methodology first. And even when you write a paper in a qualitative journal, you have to consider that search methodology or conference is more important than literature. No one will read. Your literature review. Literature review is not important at all. After research methodology, literature review. Literature review in the qualitative study, we think in literature review as a single point in a research methodology. After literature review, we collect the data, analyze, and validate. Of course, here we don't have validation phase, validation point. Here we have a validation. Why? Because here we talk to people. So you have to validate using another case study, another people. You have to make an interview with another people. But here, why do you need to, to, make, to validate? You collect the data and use a questionnaire and using statistics. So validation here using, by using statistics. You don't need to validate again. But here, you collect data from case study from an organization and validate from another organization. In brief, I want to memorize what we have taken in two minutes. About the ontology, here we say no single reality. Here we say there is a single reality and it's, it's external our minds. So we, we call that constructionism. We call that objectivist. Epistemology, the theory of collecting the data. Here we say interpretivist, we interpret. Here we say it empiricist, testing. And finally, we call theory, how we develop our theory. We call it deductive because we test and then we get the theory. Here we call it inductive. What the meaning of inductive? We look at a single case study or two or three case studies and develop a theory. But here you have a hypothesis, send the questionnaire to people. After collecting the questionnaire, analyze this questionnaire to find, to, to test what you have thought about. Okay, thank you. The next time we will talk about more in depth about the third paradigm. What's the third paradigm? In one minute, you have to think. Do 
our job is just searching for reality or we can create a reality. So the next time we think of, do we think that we can create a reality or just we reflect the reality? Thank you.